Welcome to Speaking of Art with Jay Harmon, the colored pencil artist. All of his works are intricate pieces of original art, created entirely from colored pencils. Tune into the show to learn about Jay and his fascinating artistic abilities as he interviews featured guests, discusses new artwork, and guides us through the many styles and techniques that make his creations so unique. So sit back, relax, and take part in this one-of-a-kind studio production. Enjoy the show. Hi, and welcome to the Colored Pencil Artist Show. I'm Jay Harmon, the Colored Pencil Artist, and we're here for uh, another nice, relaxing show. Uh, we're working in the middle of a, uh, of a picture. Today, we've uh, been doing a hand, and as you, can, uh, as you can tell if you've ever tried to draw hands, they're not the easiest thing to do, but uh, I've been doing it like... Uh, on the show, I've been coming in and, and doing, I guess, uh, a, uh, a finger and then a couple more fingers and so on. So I've got the first hand finished. And someone had challenged me to put in a second hand. So that's what I'm going to work on today is to uh, draw the, uh, to paint with colored pencils. I will attempt to paint with colored pencils the second hand on the picture. And um, you can, uh, if you want to see uh, my work too, you can go to coloredpencilartist.com and you can see uh, more of my artwork on my website. And if you would like to call in, if you have any, uh, any questions, suggestions, or anything you would like to say today, please call in. Uh, our number here is 1-888-994-4995. And you can, in Studio A, that's where we're at today. So uh, you, can, uh, you can reach us here, and we are going to begin here with the, um, with the picture and see where we're going to go with this today. The second, this is, I guess I'll call this the second hand drawing, okay, because I'm going to be drawing a second hand. So uh, anyway, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm starting with um, pink rose, just to get a little light undershade here of pink. A little bit here. And this is going to be a lady's hand, so it's going to be a little bit more delicate than the man's hand I have here. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how, this is, uh, how this is going to look. I'm just putting a little undershade right here, not a lot, just uh, enough around the outside and then I will uh, come back on it a little bit more. Okay, this is, uh, and also on the, on the thumbnail, we'll put some pink in there. And draw that in there a little bit like that. And then we'll just uh, come back here. I'm going to come over over the top here a little bit. I'm just outlining it, okay? Just highlighting it with the pink on the, on the outside. And we're coming up here. And the thing is with doing, as I stress every week, when you're doing colored pencil art, there is no rush for this because you cannot rush what you're doing. And you can only go so fast and uh, in creating colored pencil art. So you just need to keep that in mind. If, uh, if you like the kind of art that, is, uh, that you uh, can get instant results, probably you're better off by uh, doing uh, artwork online. And uh, you know, do, do artwork, get, get yourself a, uh, a Photoshop, uh, a 
get the Photoshop program and work with, uh, work with that. I love working in Photoshop, but it just does not have the same feel as actually doing what I'm doing here and actually uh, adding the colors myself. And just the feel of a pencil, if you are, uh, if you are any kind of uh, artist who has used colored pencils before or pencils, there's just something about the feel of a pencil that makes it, uh, that makes it special. So now I've, uh, I've got this here. Now I've got my highlights here. I'm going to come down here a little bit because this is going to be a little darker down here underneath. Okay, and uh, have this here and a little bit behind on the other finger you can see back there. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And the color that I'm adding now is a deco peach, which is a great color for doing skin tones and medium tones. I'm going to color over, I'm going to layer over the other color that I did, the pink. Now I'm going to put some of the deco peach here. And we'll just put that right in here. Add this a uh, little bit more here and here some of the uh, okay now I have that kind of uh, coming together a little bit there I'm going to add a little bit more around the knuckle here A1. And add a little bit more shadow around the fingernail. Jay, they're already yes, right. They're already writing in if the second hand is going to be a different tone. A different tone than yeah. the first hand. Yes, yes, and uh, that's what I'm demonstrating. Is that uh, you know there can be a um, a little a little change from one hand to the other hand, and uh, I wanted to show different uh, you know different tones. It's not going to be like it's. Uh, like I'm doing, I'm not doing this picture to make a picture where you're having like two hands together, not necessarily. I'm trying to demonstrate different ways of, uh, of shading the hands and different ways that, uh, that you can do it because, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit different, but when you, um, when you see it, it will, uh, in the end, And I'm also trying to make this a little bit more delicate because it is a lady's hand. Okay. And bring this. And I think we're going to bring the fingernails, the fingernail, the thumbnail up a little bit further to, uh, to show that it is indeed a lady's hand here. Have a more delicate fingernail, thumbnail. And Ladies' hands, in uh, in almost most cases, are a little bit more slender than a man's. A man's hand is more uh, full, and uh, it's the it's the beauty of, of a delicate hand is just that it's uh, you know it's so so very pretty and it. Uh, And I like a nice, uh, a nice hand looks, uh, always looks good. And uh, 
So we are just uh, working on that. I think you can start to start to see a little bit here. And I'm going to uh, bring this. Bring this up here. Now, Jay, it doesn't matter yeah. where you position that second hand. It's basically the same technique, correct? The it's the same. It's the same, basically, the, uh, the same technique. I could have put it here. I could have put it over here. I could have put it uh, just about anywhere. But I just wanted to kind of balance out the picture a little bit. So I placed it, uh, I placed it underneath here. So I've got this hand here and this hand here just to, uh, you know, to give a little formal balance to the picture. Uh, because if I'd put it over here, it would not be balanced, and if I'd put it over here, it would not be balanced. So the only way I could really do it uh, to balance the picture, which is another, uh, which is another artistic thing that um, um, I try to do in all my pictures, is to try to uh, keep everything balanced, symmetrical, symmetrically, so that uh, you, can, you can look at it and it's, uh, uh, it's balanced somehow. Either balanced with... Uh, with the actual forms that are in the picture or through the colors that are in the picture. Abstract art can be balanced through colors and shapes. And it's the same thing with doing realism, is that you try to balance your picture with uh, different, uh, different forms and how they fit together in the picture. this here. I'm just trying to shade this a little bit and now if uh, okay so we got uh, we got pretty much the form of the uh, of the hand here now so you can see that and we'll take a break and when we come back I'm going to add some more colors to it and see how much we can uh, we can get finished on this hand today okay so we'll see you in a, in a minute Jay Harmon exclusively in the gallery of Boker. Jay Harmon captures the essence of really creative and captivating mind Jay Harmon brings the light into the darkness on majority of his pieces using a negative background to highlight the details of some of his looks. I know some artists use white canvases, but he thrives on a black canvas. And here's the kicker. He only uses pencil, colored pencil, graphite pencil, and pencil pencil for his art pieces. Yes, I know it's hard to fathom that these beautiful pieces came from pencil, but yes, they did. And the only way you can experience Jay Harmon is if you come to the gallery of Boca. Jay Harmon, an unconventional artist with a unique story behind every canvas. Hi, welcome back. And uh, what I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about first is that uh, I'm working on a project right now that I hope to be carrying on for uh, quite a while. It is a business called Skillshare. And I will be uh, doing lessons online. And you can, um, you can get involved with Skillshare. It's a, uh, it's a program you can uh, you can get it and there's thousands of artists and thousands of people around the world who do many different many different kinds of fields I mean there's writers there's artists there's uh, there's people who do uh, how to raise plants how to uh, care for animals everything that uh, that you might have an interest in is on Skillshare and what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be giving lessons and in real time on how to do the artwork that I do. I'm going to uh, be starting with drawing. My first lesson is going to be how to draw a bunch of grapes. And so it's going to be uh, pretty, um, pretty easy. It's a beginner 
course where you can uh, where you can get in all you need to get is uh, colored pencils some maybe some Bristol board like I use here and uh, an eraser and um, and a pencil sharpener and that's basically uh, all you need just have a, a nice uh, you know a, a nice relaxed time to do it I'm not going to rush anything you're going to see the pictures come together in real time uh, a lot of times you see online when you see artists painting uh, they paint really you see them going really fast that's because they uh, they did it they speeded up the uh, the video but um, you get to see this in real time and I'll be sharing like I'm doing here uh, along with my drawing what uh, what is going on and I'll explain it step by step which colors I'm using and um, everything you need to know so that uh, and it's a each lesson has a project where you can work along with it and then send in your project to uh, Skillshare and they will look at it and evaluate it and uh, you know and, and uh, really give you a, an idea of how well you're doing with it and we'll give you uh, we'll give you hints and and different things so uh, just keep that in mind Skillshare okay I will be on there probably uh, February 28th is uh, is when I'm starting there so uh, and after that I'll be adding more lessons all the time so that's uh, that's one thing I do and if anybody's interested in having art lessons I give art lessons I do private lessons I can do it uh, uh, virtually um, you know I, I do those I, I do them one-on-one uh, -on -one if, uh, if someone is in the area and uh, they'd like uh, they'd like a lesson I give uh, I give private art lessons I was an art teacher for uh, many years and uh, so now I'm using my background to uh, to help people to really let them see how this is done there's not too many artists that are online with uh, colored pencils that are showing you how to uh, how to do this so that's why I'm uh, I'm kind of trying to uh, fill that void a little bit and uh, really show you how to do it I understand that uh, that pencils and colored pencils colored pencils uh, are coming uh, back into fashion pretty much and people are rediscovering them what you can do with them and uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, help anybody who is interested in learning um, you know this great form of artwork and uh, and how to do it and I, I can start very easy and uh, you know and then uh, move up from there so if you're uh, if you're interested you may uh, you can contact me at colorpencilartist.com or uh, you can uh, call the studio here at 1-888-994-4995 and we would be very happy to uh, to get back with you about that so anyway we will continue on with our with our picture here see what we can uh, see what we can do here and uh, okay so now I'm I'm coming back a little bit with some with some shadow Just a little bit around. Around the thumb here. And this is some dark areas and I'm going to be interchanging some of the different uh, some of the different colors. I'm going to put some more of the deco pink. right here to show some some shadow that's the thing with working with uh, realism it's all about form and shadow and color and uh, you need to understand how that all works together it's just uh, uh, it's a basic thing and it all has to be included in what you're doing so come up here now what I'm going to do I'm going to take my uh, colorless blender if I can find it here and where are you 
There we are, and now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to kind of blend some of this together like this. And this doesn't have a color. All it does is to blend the colors together so they look nice and smooth and the different colors that I put on here now will blend and give you more of a realistic look. Okay. Come back here. And this is all with a colorless blender. Blending pencil. There are other ways to blend, but this is uh, this is one of my uh, one of my favorite ways because it's uh, it's keeping it right with working with pencils. And uh, let me see. I'm going to put in the other other finger down here so you can see this. So we have a little bit of the of the second finger back there. Okay, you have uh, okay, just a little bit peeking through here, so you can see the other the other finger there. That's another way of you know not. Uh, so if you can see the other finger back there, it gives it more of a uh, three dimensional look that you can uh, see that it's not just uh, it's not just one finger there it's uh, more of the hand that's uh, that's back there okay and i'm just going to be filling this in now a little bit more a little bit more And if you can see the difference between the fingers here a little bit and this one, you can see that there is, um, you know, that this one is more feminine. And we'll just... Uh, Finish this up, and okay, I've put in that shadow. Now I'm going to add a little bit darker shadow to it. I'm going to uh, put in a little bit. Uh, this is dark umber. I'm just very lightly going to add this here, just to get it so you can see the the outline and the and the shadow along the along the finger and the thumb here so it stands out so it uh, you know it doesn't just fade into the into the background so it really has that three-dimensional look to it And you can kind of get a feel of how this uh, how this works together when you uh, it's just a matter of uh, of working with it and just uh, and and learning which colors work together and and how they work together and uh, so this here is just I'm working on the on the other hand a little bit just kind of blending it behind this hand so you can see that and okay so so now I'm just kind of adding this up here, putting this uh, finishing touches uh, on this a little bit. And uh, 
Okay, so uh, now we're uh, we're just putting this. I know this one looks a little bit uh, a little bit paler. I haven't uh, finished putting in all the uh, all the colors I need yet, so I don't want it to look too pale. But I'm uh, I've just concentrated mainly on doing uh, on doing around the fingers. So uh, so you can see that I'm going to put in a little a uh, little bit more color. I just go back now and add some more color to it as I'm going along. Just adding more color. That's that's all part of the process. I you know I I start with the colors, then I go back, and then I add some colors. And if I need to, I can uh, I can highlight it with uh, you know with lighter lighter areas. I can uh, even use an eraser if I want to highlight certain areas of uh, of what I'm doing so you can uh, so you can see it. And this is. Uh, Coming together. Have a have a nice nice lady's hand here. So Hopefully you can uh, you can look at it and see the difference between how a man's hand looks and a little bit of how a uh, how a lady's hand looks. Okay, so that was the uh, that was the challenge that I had was to uh, was to make this uh, look a little different. They said, uh, could you add a lady's hand to it? And I said, we can put a lady's hand in there. And my challenge was to find out where to put it and how I was going to, uh, how I was going to do it so that it looked like it was part of the picture. Now I'm just going back here and adding a little bit more of the uh, of the colors, the darker, and then going back to the deco pink. If you notice, I've only used about five different colors on this uh, on on this picture this time, and uh, so that's uh, okay. So uh, if there's uh, Anything that you would uh, would like to know more about, uh, please contact us here, and you can uh, you can once again get in touch with me at uh, coloredpencilartist.com. Leave a message, and you can call the studio at one eight 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 nine nine four four nine nine five, and we'd be more than happy to uh, give you any information you'd like. And if you'd like to set up an appointment to uh, to get some artwork done or to learn some artwork. I do commission work. I do uh, many different uh, many different things. So, uh, if you'd like to call and find out some more, just uh, just give us a call. Okay, and it's been it's been great seeing you. And uh, stay tuned for next week. We will be starting a new picture. And uh, until then, just remember to keep your colors happy. <laughs> All these works are intricate pieces of original art, created entirely from colored pencils. Tune into the show to learn about Jay and his fascinating artistic abilities as he interviews featured guests, discusses new artwork, and guides us through the many styles and techniques that make his creations so unique. So sit back, relax, and take part in this one-of-a-kind studio production. <laughs>